Scorpio, thank you for tuning in to my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. This reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Happy, happy birthday, by the way. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for sign of Scorpio? Please and thank you. Messages for, okay. Some of you guys could be teachers, new vitality, believe and succeed, and manifest. Okay, some of you guys are meant to be like teachers. Um, that's part of your divine purpose in this lifetime. Um, but some of you guys just have like that spirit of leadership and you have influence over others. Like you can easily influence people. But I'm getting it like you, some of you guys are musicians as well. The music that you produce um, inspires people. It gives them new life helps them to manifest, yeah, joy and stability within their life. And some of you guys could be encountering someone who inspires you, who um, gives you the energy to believe that you have the, the ability to succeed in something here. To restore your hope. And some of you guys are doing this to someone else or people in general but you help them to see that they possess like the ability to manifest what they desire that they don't have to just give up bow down they have the ability to manifest what they desire you help to teach people the way restore hope lost dreams Empress, loving. You guys have, some of you guys have like a very loving and nurturing energy that draws people towards you. Um, I'm getting that like you, you teach people to expand their horizon, see what else is out there. You help them to open themselves up to more possibilities. And even though it's like, you do in a very loving way as well. The two of swords is the issue here. So you guys may be struggling with making a decision or you feel like right now you're going back and forth in your own mind about what you should do, what's the right thing for you to do in a particular situation. Well... Well, we'll see. The star, a wish fulfillment, healing energy, also guiding others towards healing and their purpose in this lifetime, fame and fortune as well with justice. So you're being guided to do the right thing, to stand up for what you believe is right and just in a particular situation. Judgment. Use your uh, better judgment and the Knight of Intelligence here, the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords is like that knight in shining, uh, shining armor type of energy, that person who comes in and saves the day. I'm getting that some of you guys will be the one to do that. But you may be battling within yourself as to what you should do in a particular situation. Well, you're being advised to use your better judgment and to do what you believe is right, to speak on the truth, to stand on the truth. And you don't have to be harsh. Like your approach doesn't have to come from a place of insanity or just lashing out. And that's why it's important to be proactive versus reactive. So when you're being guided to take action, to speak up, to do something, then do it when you're being guided to do it. So that the universe isn't pushing you to the point where you're forced to do something and you're just reacting because you weren't proactive when you were, when you were being guided to do so. 
I'm really getting that you have it within your spirit. If you're not like in this teacher um, type of energy where you are influencing others, restoring their hopes, uh, restoring lost dreams, lifting people up, helping them to acknowledge that they possess the power to manifest what they desire. Um, they have that within them. Like you are inspirational. You definitely inspire people to do the right thing. You inspire people to take charge over their life. You have that within you to do so. Whether you acknowledge it or you're beginning to acknowledge it. Whatever you're doing, um, some of y'all could have like a, a platform here that inspires people. Some of you guys may be at this point where you're being kind of like bashful as to putting yourself out there. But I see eventually you will be opening up and expressing yourself more. I'm getting like your your biggest issue is you can be overcritical of yourself with judgment here. Which ultimately holds you back from speaking your truth. But I don't see you will be able to do that much longer. Because it looks like with the Knight of Swords here, some sort of opportunity being presented to you and you will be taking advantage of it. Because you realize time is up. You don't have much time to procrastinate on a particular situation anymore. What are they being advised to uh, nurture in order for growth to take place? The moon and the two of wisdom so the two of cups one thing you're being guided to do is to learn how to give to others without taking from yourself that there is a balance um with the moon here you're being guided to nurture your psychic abilities your intuition in order for it to grow and and also for you in order for you to also realize how protected you are and that you're not in this fight on your own, whatever you're being guided to do, you do have the spiritual uh, support to accomplish something here. Trusting in your relationship with the divine, that the divine wouldn't leave you out to dry, basically. What, is, what are they going back and forth in their head about? What is this two of swords about? The sun. And the four of charisma. Which is the four of pentacles. So you're going back and forth in your head about speaking your truth. And with the four of pentacles here, so some of y'all are not speaking your truth for the sake of material possessions. You could be afraid of speaking your truth. And if you were to speak your truth, then it could affect your finances. So if you guys, like if you guys are spiritual teachers, but you grew up in the very, um, conservative family or conservative community, then you may be afraid to say, hey, I don't believe in this anymore. I believe in spirituality. I be it's something here that you believe in, you believe to be true. And the people that you may be around have different views and you could be afraid of how this could affect your stability and what you have built for yourself and you want to hold on to that it's, it's a sense of comfort for you it's your comfort your stability so a part of you is afraid to speak the truth regarding but not realizing that once you speak your truth once you are honest about something that you Feel is worthy of you fighting for with this knight and this sword of truth here. Once you do speak your truth in a particular situation, it is going to make you so happy. It's going to restore a lot of happiness in your life because if you really assess a situation, you're not happy 
you're not happy. And the reason why you're not happy is because you're not being honest about who you truly are and what you truly stand for. Give me more about this star energy, please. And thank you. Queen of strength, which is the queen of wands and nine of intelligence. Mastering your thoughts with nine of uh, intelligence here. No longer allowing your thoughts to have power and control over you, but you have power and control over your uh, thoughts in order to master what you manifest in your life. The queen of uh, wands here, which is also the queen, the queen of strength in this uh, deck. Confidence, feeling very confident in yourself and your abilities. And also your purpose in this life. Like you, it's, it's like you're saying, this is what I'm here to do. I know it without a doubt and I stand on it without a doubt. I'm not going to allow anyone to influence what I do in this lifetime. I'm going to do what I am divinely guided to do. It's you speaking your truth and standing on your truth. Not even necessarily speaking your truth, but standing on, on it. Simply acting on what you believe is true for you to do in this lifetime. The hermit. Okay, because you're in the ace of uh, wisdom as well. This is the ace of cups. You are definitely a force to be reckon, reckoned with. And I'm going to tell you what, you will have support as well. Some of y'all are mastering something and it will be people that want to learn from what you have accomplished. Um, people definitely see you as a wise leader here with the hermit. And whatever you're acting on, you're acting off of a lot of... Basically, it's a lot of wisdom here. It's not like you're just reacting and you're talking out the side of your neck no you know exactly what you're talking about and what you're standing on what you know to be true the king king of strength and the seven of wisdom honey seven of cups and the uh king of strength is the king of wands the King of Wands is a very powerful uh, energy. He's very confident. He, he has the ability to inspire others through his actions. Um, and just his confidence alone, the fact that he's not afraid to speak his truth, the fact that he's not afraid to act on what he believes is true. He's a leader. He's not a follower. You can't convince the King of Wands to do something that you believe in. He's going to say, yeah, if that's good for you, you do it. But this is what I'm going to do. You cannot persuade the King of Wands to do a damn thing. He's confident. He's bold. He takes action. And nobody can tell him shit. No one can tell him shit. You may be tempted to give in to some vices here. It may be people who try to um, persuade you into doing something, but you don't fall for it. Because you're in this King of Wands energy who can't be told a damn thing. You're a man of your word and you act on what you say. You walk that walk. You don't just talk it, you walk it. Some of y'all don't talk at all. Y'all just simply walk. Let's see what else. Let's see what is coming through. <clears throat> I'm really getting like whoever you are, you're a very powerful and influential individual. Um, but it's really up for up to you to accept the gift that you've been blessed to have in this lifetime. Heartbreak, and that wants to come out in reverse. Some of y'all could be overcoming the heartbreak. Addiction. So, and regret. I'm really getting this energy of you guys being advised um, not to allow emotional losses or the, the feeling of emotional loss. Um, it's almost like a sense of boredom. Some of y'all could be disappointed in some of the relationships within your life. Some of the relationships within your life have gone south. 
but you're being advised by spirit not to allow yourself to um, drown your emotions and um, substances such as shopping, overeating, drinking, smoking. Is you being mindful of how you handle a particular situation or your current state because you'll only regret it if you do those type of things. You only end up regretting it if you're doing those type of things. So if you're doing it, then work your way out of it. If you need more help, then seek the help that you need. There are counselors that you can seek. There are you know places that you can go if you are actually uh, struggling with the substance abu abuse. But someone here could quite possibly be in that energy of using substance substances to tune out um, emotional disappointments. I mean, it's nothing wrong with having fun every once in a while, but if you're actually using it as a form of distraction, then that's not okay. Because you weren't given certain challenges because you're not strong enough to handle them. You are given those challenges to strengthen you. You're not a victim. You're a victor. It, it was, you were only presented these challenges to overcome them. It may be annoying, but you have it within yourself to overcome those challenges. And you'll be proud of yourself for overcoming those challenges and showing other people the way as well. What is balancing out for? What is this karma? What is balancing out for, Scorpio? What is this about? Okay. There now I'm getting a, a romantic situation, divine timing. It's a particular situation. I know you guys may be annoyed, but it's not up to me. So take it or leave it. But a particular situation between you and someone else, and this person is someone that you view as a player. You feel like either this person just played too many games or they actually had you in some third party situations. Now, it looks like this person is trying to figure out how to balance this, this situation out between you and them. They feel this magnetic attraction towards you. And I'm getting that they feel like it's the perfect time to reach out to make things right with you. Let me get some more about this situation. What else does Scorpio need to know about this situation? What else do they need to know? This is someone who ghosted you. They could have ghosted you for another relationship. What is your advice for Scorpio regarding this situation? Read between the lines. So don't just fall for what this person is telling you. Uh, really pay attention to their behaviors, the actions. If they're sitting up here, because I'm getting that this person has been like stalking you on social media, they, they're not liking your posts, they're not liking your pictures, but they're seeing everything that you are posting. They're like silently stalking you. They're not letting it be known that they're looking on your page and that type of stuff. Um, with this person, I'm getting strongly that you need to read between the lines. Don't, if they, because I'm getting that you will be excited to hear from them, but don't just fall for what they're telling you. If they're not showing you that there is change, that they have changed, then let it go because you will have better coming towards you. Uh, new love keeps wanting to show up. So, do you have anything for new love for Scorpio? Anything for new love for Scorpio? Yeah. It's it's a new you're meant to be with someone new. There's someone new that's coming towards you because it kept wanting to pop out. So some of you guys could have like this person from the past pop back up before a new love enters your life. But whoever this new person is is someone that you're actually going to build a legacy with. You're going to 
create stability with this person. It's a soulmate energy, and it's the type of love that will stand the end, uh, stand the test of times here. Someone that you will build a beautiful relationship with. But it looks like this uh, person from the past that feels this uh, feels magnetically drawn towards you. I don't see this going anywhere, but I do see that you will be excited to hear from this person. Um, but I don't see it going anywhere. They may even, to be honest, some of you guys will not even hear from this person. They'll continue to just stalk you on social media. I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. This reading resonates. But with that being said, you all take care.